Hi, welcome to Trimble Field Link for Structures. Today we're going to go through a new release that we've come out with. It's called Trimble Field Link for Structures and it's designed for contractors that are working with BIM and also in virtual design and construction. It takes our layout tools to another level and it allows contractors to work within CAD, 3D modeling, it has a new enhanced reporting feature, and we've enhanced all of the layout features. The key functionalities that we'll go through today are creating points from CAD, layout, 3D model viewer, and the field reporting. So first, we'll start with create from CAD. The first step in creating points from CAD is to go to the Trimble globe in the upper left corner to access the ribbon. The ribbon can be accessed any time throughout the process of using the Trimble Field Link for Structures product. This gives the user effectiveness and the ability to, to move to different applications within the workflow. When we open the ribbon, what we want to do is we go to Create from CAD. When we've selected Create from CAD, we have the ability to view the map. We can zoom in to the appropriate area. And we can now choose points in a number of ways. The first method is individually. And we tap the button that says individual. And we simply tap the area that we want to select a point on. It shows up with a circle and a number. We can select a second one. We can also do it in current view, which means that it will create points all over the map at every position that's available. The third method is by window, which means we can simply come in and create a zoom window and it will populate it with points inside. When we're satisfied with the points we've created, we simply hit the Create button, and it allows those points to be created and used now in the layout process. Since we're finished with our point creation, what we want to do is go back to the Trimble globe to bring up the ribbon. We now go to the Layout Tools, and this allows us to actually lay out points. So the next step is to do the layout. The first thing we have to do is to populate a point list, which is different from our previous approach. The new software allows us to have a task-based workflow, meaning that we populate the list that we want for the day as opposed to using every point in our CAD file. The next step in the process is to select a point we want to lay out. We're going to choose number 30, and you'll note that the display comes up in a new bullseye view. This gives us corrections in both forward, back, and left, right. We can move our prism, and you'll notice that we have to go forward three quarters of an inch, and we need to go left an inch. Eventually, we get to a point where we're within our tolerance, and you'll notice that we see a nice green, very visible display to show what our tolerance is. Once we've made it inside tolerance, we can then stake the point, and we get a, a lot of information to tell us about what this point is, what tolerance level we're willing to accept, also what the design coordinates are and the as-built coordinates. This can be used to send back to the model to make sure that we're building what's actually been designed in the model. The next key feature in the Trimble Field Link for Structures product is the model viewer. In the past, we always operated with a two-dimensional CAD drawing. Today, we have the ability to view and navigate a 3D model. The way we do that is go to the Trimble globe to access the ribbon. We're going to select Model Viewer. Now we can zoom in and take a look at the model in a three-dimensional three -dimensional realm. We can go from a wireframe to a shaded mode. We can also change background colors to better view the 3D model. We also have navigation controls that allow us to move and view this 3D model from different perspectives to see what we want to see in a different perspective. Again, we can go shaded to wireframe. We can also zoom in, zoom out, and we have layer controls that allow us to turn on or turn off different layers to see different portions of the project.
The next step, and probably one of the most important features, are the reports. Again, we access that through the Trimble ribbon by tapping reports. And we have three different reports that we can choose from. We can choose the daily layout summary, which gives, gives us information including when we started our layout for the day, when we finished it, how many points we laid out, how many were in tolerance, how many were out of tolerance, so that we can calculate our performance metrics for the day. The daily layout summary is essentially just a calendar feature that allows us to go in and select a daily layout report by choosing the date on the calendar. It will then access the data, produce the report in a PDF format so that we can send it out directly from the device using Wi-Fi. The other reports that we have are also accessed through the report button. Those reports are layout deviations which show us all the points that were laid out, whether they were in tolerance or out of tolerance. The last report is the field report. This might be the most important report. This allows us to report field conditions, conflicts, RFIs in a format that can be sent directly back to the office to immediately get decision and action so that we can move forward in the project. The way we access this is we simply type in the name of the report that we'd like to create. In this case, we'll call this Report Trimble. We can also type in some text, and we can type in anything we'd like to. In this case, we'll just call it problem. And we can also add a picture. The Trimble tablet is also equipped with a digital camera that allows us to capture images of issues or problems in the field, store them on the device, and access them for the field report. We navigate to our picture folder. Select the photo that we'd like to add. In this case, we have some bad anchor bolts. We click OK. The picture gets added, and we can save the report. Now we have a report indicating the problem in the field, a picture to show it visually. Now we can PDF this and send it back to the office to get answers on how to fix the problem.